Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss chromatic polynomial. Let G V E be a graph with n vertices, and suppose lambda be a sufficiently large number. You can assume that lambda is greater than equal to n. The number of ways to color the graph properly using lambda or fewer colors can be expressed in terms of a polynomial called chromatic polynomial. It means chromatic polynomial gives the number of ways to color the graph properly using lambda or less than lambda colors. Now, how can we find chromatic polynomial for a given graph? Let alpha i be the number of different ways of coloring the graph G properly using exactly i colors. Then the chromatic polynomial is given by this expression. Now, how can we find this expression? Now, look at this. Suppose we have lambda colors. Lambda is a large number. So we'll start with one color, then two color, and up to n colors. Why we will move up to n colors only? Because any graph with n vertices can be properly colored with n colors. So we need not to go beyond n colors. That's why we will go uh, up to n colors out of lambda colors. So this is the first thing. Now. When we choose one color out of lambda, then first we have to find the number of ways to choose one color out of lambda color. So this is given by lambda c one. It means the number of ways to choose one color out of lambda colors. Now suppose we have already written alpha i. This is the number of ways or different ways coloring the graph using i colors. It means alpha one. Is the number of ways to color the graph using one color? It means for each of these lambda c one ways, we have alpha one ways to color the graph properly. It means the number of ways to color the graph properly using one color out of lambda color is given by alpha one into lambda c one. Here, product rule will be applied because for each of these cases, lambda c1, we have alpha one number of ways to color the graph properly using one color. Similarly, if we have if we have to choose two colors, then number of ways to choose two colors, lambda c2, and for each of these ways, we have alpha two ways to color the graph properly, and again we will multiply these two. Numbers alpha two multiplied by lambda c two, and similarly, uh, when we are choosing n colors, then this is given by lambda c n, and alpha n is the number of ways to color the graph properly using n colors. The so total number of ways to color the graph properly using n colors will be given by alpha n into lambda c n. Now. We can color the graph properly using either one color or two colors or up to n colors. That's why finally we will have the sum of all these numbers. So this is the chromatic polynomial for coloring the graph properly using lambda or less than lambda colors. So this polynomial is written here. Look at this: sigma i equal to one to n lambda c i. This is lambda c i and alpha. I this is alpha i. So in this way we can write chromatic polynomial for a given graph. So this is the one way. But in general we can directly calculate the chromatic polynomial of a graph also. Okay. So we will go for some examples so that it will be clear to all of you. Now look at this theorem. For a complete graph with n vertices, the chromatic polynomial is. Here we will directly find this expression. Now, how can we find directly this expression? Look at this. For a complete graph with n vertices, you know, in a complete graph, every vertex is adjacent to every other vertex. For example, if I write, a, if I draw a complete graph of four vertices, so this is a complete graph of four vertices. Look at this. Here, every vertex is adjacent to every other vertex. So, number of vertex. And color number number of ways number of ways uh, number of ways of coloring. So if you start with first vertex, lambda colors are given to you. So if you start with the first vertex, means 
vertex number one then you have lambda ways to color this vertex properly now move to second vertex now look at this as i told you every vertex is adjacent to every other vertex it means you cannot assign this color to the second vertex it means now you have lambda minus one ways to color the vertex similarly for third one this is lambda minus two because now you cannot assign for this vertex you cannot assign this color and this color say suppose this is c1 this is suppose c2 so you cannot assign color c1 or c2 to this vertex so you have lambda minus two so two number two colors are already assigned so you have lambda minus two choices for this vertex so if you move in this way for nth vertex how many choices will be there look at this for the second vertex lambda minus one it means this is one less than two similarly for third vertex this is lambda minus two this is one less than three so it means for nth vertex lambda minus one less than n lambda minus n minus one that is lambda minus n plus one so these are the number of ways of coloring each of the vertex now for each of these lambda ways of coloring first vertex we have lambda minus one ways to color the vertex number two so it means for coloring the vert uh, vertices one and two we will have lambda into lambda minus one ways for coloring one and two now for each of these ways lambda lambda minus one again we will have lambda minus two ways to color the third vertex it means for coloring first, second and third vertices, we have lambda, lambda minus one, lambda minus two ways. So again, we are using product rule. Why product rule? Because for each of this case, we have lambda minus one case for second vertex. For each of these lambda, lambda minus one cases, again, we have lambda minus two cases for that. So then we will use this product rule. Similarly, if you move to another vertex, then you will have lambda minus n plus one ways. And this is the required chromatic polynomial of a complete graph with n vertices. So this is the direct method. Here we are not calculating alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3. We are just calculating the number of ways for each of the vertex. So for a complete graph, you can directly write this chromatic polynomial or you can count the number of ways for each of the vertex. Now for a tree with n vertices, the chromatic polynomial is p n lambda 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 minus 1 raised to the power n minus 1. Now so for a tree, look at this example of a tree. Suppose this is a tree. Now this is the root. So for root, number of ways will be lambda. For root, lambda ways are there. Now you know in a tree there is one and only one path between every two vertices it means each vertex is a child of one vertex which is a parent of this vertex so you cannot assign the color of parent to the child it means for a child number of ways for a child number of is equal to lambda minus 1. Now look at this each vertex is the child of a parent vertex it means for each of the remaining vertices except the root number of ways of coloring the vertex will be lambda minus 1. So for every vertex except the root we will have lambda minus one ways to color the vertex it means for first vertex we have lambda ways vertex number v e r t vertex number and number of number of ways ways of coloring coloring so this is root for second we have lambda minus one for third we have lambda minus one up to n we have lambda minus lambda minus one. So in this way, for each of these lambda ways, we have lambda minus one one ways for, uh, to color the second vertex. Similarly, for lambda lambda minus one ways, 
each of these ways we have lambda minus one ways to color the third vertex therefore using the product rule the total number of ways will be given by lambda lambda minus one lambda minus one up to lambda minus one this is n minus one times so these numbers are n minus one times therefore this is lambda lambda minus one raised to power n minus one so this is the chromatic polynomial of a tree with n vertices so now for any given tree we can directly use this formula to find the chromatic polynomial or you can calculate individually we can find the number of ways for each of these vertex and in this way you can find the chromatic polynomial now we have example number one look at this i will explain this chromatic polynomial using different ways first simply we will count the number of ways for each of the vertex first way this is first method for v1 vertex number of ways number of ways of coloring color so v1 we have lambda ways for v2 v2 is adjacent to v1 it means we have lambda minus one ways so for each of these lambda ways we have lambda minus one ways for the vertex v2 so it's chromatic polynomial p2 vertices are there p2 lambda is equal to lambda lambda minus one. this is the first method second method you know this is a tree tree with two vertices tree with n equal to n equal to two tree with n equal to two so you know for a tree with two vertices the chromatic polynomial is lambda lambda minus one is n minus one so this is two minus one so lambda lambda minus one two minus one one so this is the same answer so this is basically we have used the formula of uh, which uh, the formula which we have proved in previous theorem so this is the second method now third method we have p n lambda this equal to sigma i equal to 1 to n alpha i lambda c i so here first we have to find alpha 1 and alpha 2 n equal to 2 so we'll go here p 2 lambda this equal to sigma i equal to 1 to 2 alpha i lambda c i so you can write it further simply alpha 1 lambda c 1 plus alpha 2 lambda c 2 so now we have to find alpha 1 and alpha 2 alpha 1 is the number of ways to color properly this graph using one color now look at this is a complete graph of two vertices it means you cannot color this graph properly using one color it means alpha 1 equal to 0 alpha 1 equal to 0 means this expression will be 0 now alpha 2 alpha 2 means number of ways to color this graph properly using two colors how many ways are there if we have two colors so look at this we can interchange the color we can assign c1 to v1 and c2 to v2 or we can assign color number 2 to v1 or color number 1 to v2 in this way we can interchange the colors it means we have two ways to color this graph properly using two colors so p2 lambda this equal to this part is 0 alpha 2 equal to 2 lambda c2 equal to lambda lambda minus 1 by factorial 2 factorial 2 equal to 2 this will cancel out so this is lambda lambda minus 1 so in this way this is similar to these expressions lambda lambda minus 1 so these are three different method to find the chromatic polynomial of a given graph whichever is convenient to you you can utilize the method